Manifestation is a method that focuses on feeling, visualizing, and experiencing something that is abstract and turning into something so vivid that actually feels like reality. In short, rather than seeing is believing, it's quite the opposite. Believing is seeing. Many people think manifestation is some kind of wishy-washy stuff, since how can anyone just think of what they want and actually get what they want? But they can't be further from the truth. In order to demystify manifestation, we need to explain the basic of quantum physics. Trust me, it's not rocket science. Or is it? According to Einstein's theories of special relativity, energy equal to mass times the square of speed of light. This shows that energy and objects are interchangeable. If you destroy object, you get energy, just like we burn petrol to run our cars. But what about the opposite? How does energy create an object? To answer this question, we first need to know what is an object. Objects are made of molecules, and the molecules are made of atoms and atoms are made of atomic nucleus and electrons. Here is where things get interesting. Quantum physics has revealed that electrons exist in the form of cloud. Rather than the usual cloud, which is made primarily with water, electron cloud is made of probability. Wait a second, a probability cloud? Yes, that means electron can exist at any location around the nucleus with a small probability. Now, here's the key. Only when we observe the electron, then the electron claps into one location. Basically, the electron picks one location and magically appears there. This is called the observer effect. So how does this relate to manifestation? Here's how. We live in a parallel universe where there are infinite many versions of future, just like electrons have infinite many locations to appear. Why? Because everything is made of atoms, and atom consists electrons, remember? So by visualizing, feeling, and experiencing the versions of future that you desire, you are being an observer of that specific version of future. Remember the observer effect? Yes. By law, this version of future is deemed to appear. All you need to do is be bold and manifest. The universe is in charge of making it happen. So if you constantly think I'm a loser, I'm poor, I've got no one that loves me, well, the universe will make sure that happens. But if you close your eyes, picture the ideal version of yourself, feel it, feel it so vividly. And when you open your eyes, you are one step closer to become the ideal version of yourself. You start to act like that person, behave like that person, talk like that person, and ultimately become that person. Because your energy level start to match with the energy level of the ideal version of yourself. In 1997, four brain scientists published an article that shocked the world. They invited two groups of highly skilled basketball players to an experiment. One group was asked to practice free throw, quite literally. The other group was asked to just stand there and imagine themselves practicing free throw. The result was jaw-dropping. Two groups of people actually showed almost the same amount of improvement after the experiment. This is because every time you think of something, can be an action, emotion, or anything, your brain reinforces the neural link once again. After many times, your brain becomes rewired to make sure that thing happens in the least amount of effort. That's why manifestation is so powerful. If you manifest something real hard, you are basically redesigning your brain to allow that thing to happen. So what if you manifest the ideal version of yourself? How you think, act, and feel? That's right. Your brain becomes the brain that the ideal version of yourself persists. You just brought the future you into the present you. Of course, you are going to have everything you want. That's the real meaning of fake it until you make it. Still skeptical? Let's see some evidence. Martin Luther King, he had a dream and prayed it at least an hour a day for it to happen. And guess what? It happened. That is manifestation. Jack Ma, the richest person in China, once said, ordinary people go by, seeing is believing. But extraordinary people go by, believing is seeing. Thomas Edison wanted to light up the whole world. He wanted it so bad that he tested over 6,000 plant material. 
and magically he found it. Or should I say, the universe handed over to him. Mahatma Gandhi, the man who freed India, was so firmly believed that India should be independent and no war should ever happen. Even when the harsh truth was presented to him in his early years, he never changed his belief and ultimately his will bent the reality. So here is the science behind manifestation, my friend.